Yo, hello everyone, I am Jack the Jack of Knaves, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. So, last time we did a pretty good run, uh, didn't quite beat the final boss, but we got pretty far. Um, and we also unlocked Lazarus, because we had lots of soul hearts, so we're going to start a run with him. Um, despite the fact that I don't particularly want to, because he has bad luck. Uh, it says his luck stat is 1, but it's actually negative 1. Uh, we're going to try our best here. And I have full confidence that we can get pretty far in this run. Uh, admittedly, I have to... Ooh, scissors. The pinking shears, I guess, is the correct term for it. Uh, I have a, a confession to make. I have a fever. I have Isaac fever. I have been playing this game nonstop. So hopefully that means that I've gotten better. Uh, it will remain to be seen whether or not that's actually true. Uh, but, you know, no. That's how it is. Um, so we got our... We got a key and that's it, so we can't quite search for any secret rooms. This is a pulse worm. Oh, it just increases, decreases the size. Okay, that's fine. Some of these trinkets I really dislike having, because they're just kind of... A lot of the trinkets are kind of hit and miss. Uh, sometimes they can be kind of good, sometimes they can actually really mess with you. Um, a lot of the worms that affect how your, um, like, tears move, they're just kind of bad. Um, I can't think of the names of some in particular, but there's one that, you know, makes it, like, spin around. There's, you know, one that makes it, you know, do, like, a, a square wave, if you know what that is. It's, it's just all bad. So there's the boss. Um, let's check that other room just for the sake of checking rooms. Actually, let's use our scissors and get that bomb. We're not really going to be using flight for too much here at the beginning, especially, so I don't mind using it just to collect a, you know, a little extra bomb. Plus, it gives us, theoretically, a chance to search for the secret room, and I think I have a good idea where it might be. Um, the only area that's could be would be like right there I think or not okay that's fine oh we picked up a pill somewhere that was a horrible pill why would you give me that that's awful <laughs> where did we pick up the pill I wasn't even paying attention all right let's hop into the boss Larry jr. Larry's pretty easy especially with this setup wow they kind of went easy on us this time uh, most of the time they have like a room full of like boulders and then you know they gotta weave around them and try to get them. It's all awful, but no, this time they were just like, hey, do you want to have a nice relaxing time shooting Larry Jr.? Like, why, yes, I would like to have a nice relaxing time shooting Larry Jr. I have not but a care in the world fighting Larry Jr. in this situation. This is wonderful. This is like going on a picnic and enjoying the spring breeze. I don't know what that means. Don't eat me. Don't. Ow. Okay, maybe I should stop making picnic metaphors and focus on killing Larry Jr. Stop. Ow. Am I this much of a fool that I cannot kill Larry Jr.? It's entirely possible. Okay, stop. Stop. I want more damage, please. A matchbook, I guess, is fine. Go away. I do not wish to associate with you, good sir. All right, let's hop down to the next level. So we got two bombs, and two bombs is kind of nice. We can search for any secrets or whatnot that are on this lower level. Ta-da, here we are. Okay, let's go down. There's not much in here, but there is a secret rock right there. So let's blow it up, and uh, I don't want to open that yet, just yet. As you might remember, gold chests, we need a key to open, and we only have one key at the moment. I'd much rather save that for the uh, treasure room, namely because on the floors other than the first floor... Ow! On floors other than the first floor, you have to have a key to unlock the uh, secret room. Plus, if we want to check the shop, there's just a number of reasons why one might want to do things in a way that is smart and wise. Okay, don't jump at me. Stop jumping. No more jumping. This is... Tears Down. You would, wouldn't you? That's just the kind of stuff I would expect from you, Lazarus. You and your crummy luck. There's the bathroom. 
could search for a super secret room, but let's actually keep uh, our hands on. Okay, be something nice, please. Bombs are key. Eh, it's not really all that nice. Now I use bombs to unlock doors instead of keys, which... Eh, I mean, I can think of no other reaction other than that. This is just... That's just... Yeah. Not all that great. Alright. Something we do have to keep in mind... Ow! With Lazarus, we do have an extra life, so there is, you know, at least some niceness associated with it, but still not super duper great. Alright, so let's spend a year and a half killing these flies, because that's how long killing a fly room like this will take, especially now that our tears are down and we're not doing very much damage. I hope, in my heart of hearts, that the item in the item room, I guess treasure room is the better term for it, is something that gives us damage, because this is unacceptable. Ah! It's a good thing I'm not going for a boss rush. Which I have done, and it's pretty fun. Oh yes. I am quite knowledgeable in the Isaac ways of the world. Okay, do you mind dying, please? No? Good. I'm glad you don't mind. Die, please. Thank you, jeez. Take a year and a half to get anything done. No, more more defense. I mean, uh, defense is good, don't get me wrong. It's nice that now damage we take from the front is not going to happen if it's a projectile, but also that's not super duper great. Ow! Ugh. I will be better at this game. I swear to you. This is my solemn swear. I will not die to these annoying leeches. Or sloth. Sloth, could you not... Could you do something other than the things that you do? Because frankly, this whole blowing up thing and spawning leeches that are annoying is just not going to cut it. Ugh, my damage is so poor. Thank you for killing your own minion. Arrgh. Looks like he'll only have three active at a time. It's good information to know. Don't. So we'll probably spawn another one here in a minute. Finally, we get a card. Be something I can use. Kudasai. Hangman. Gives us flight. Be an item. Ooh, a key. Alright, let's check out more stuff. So the hangman is just another instance that we can fly. It's basically a one-time use scissors. Which is not exactly what we need at this point. Having strength, or the devil, or anything would have been nice. Temperance, maybe. No, wait, I don't want temperance. I'm thinking of, um, Hierophant? Is that how you pronounce it? Hierophant? Got three keys, let's open it. Uh, reusable bomb. Yeah, yeah, let's use it. So... It's a little tricky. Uh, no, I want the scissors, actually. The ability to fly, I feel, is a more universally helpful ability. Well, let's check. I can't think of a place where the secret room would be specifically. I can't think of anywhere that I can point and say, like, it's going to be there. Um, let's try here for the super secret. Hey, what a guy. We found it. Thank you, thank you. And we get more pills. Be good, please. Pretty fly. I like pretty fly. Puberty. Doesn't do anything. Are you a wizard? Uh, tears down. Just my luck. This is actually going to be very annoying when we fight the boss. Alright. Monstro. Well, let's do our best. Yes. <laughs> I think for the time being, we'll just kind of shoot and then hope that things do things is very helpful to us. Arr, this is stressful. I want my tears to fix themselves. Why'd I have to get Are You a Wizard right before we fought a boss? There we go, finally. Okay. Let's kill these flies, because no. Okay, now we can work on defeating Monstro proper. In theory, this should be, shouldn't be too bad. And we have a little bit of defense, even though we can't all see it. We do have the 
projectile blocking face. Yeah, and as you saw it, um, you might have seen we glowed blue for a little bit. There would have been a projectile that might have hit us, but it didn't. We also have the pretty fly surrounding us now, which is pretty helpful. Uh, the pretty fly, if, you know, projectile hits it, um, it'll block the damage instead of hitting us, which is nice. So in theory, we could actually get through this without taking any damage. Something I will be wanting to try in the future, by the way, um, that I won't be doing with <laughs> Lazarus. Um, there is a character that you unlock by defeating two floors without taking any damage. And doing that is actually not too terribly hard. I had to do a couple of tries beforehand, but it's not explicitly horrible to do. Heart. So now we have four hearts, which means we can devil deal. And we get... Um, whatever this is. Dark matter, fear shot. Oh. Okay, so our tears now cause the fear stat, which makes them run away. That's fine. And we got some, um, black hearts out of it, which is handy, to say the least. All right. So obviously we're not going to do a boss rush this time, because we're now super far behind. But I think, for the time being, I think focusing on just being able to get through the map is more important. I could scissors and get over there. Let's see if breaking these reveal anything interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nothing. Um, if we get some more keys, maybe. Okay. Ooh, I will want a scissors for that black card. So that's actually slightly more important. Don't be mean. Stupid fire. Scissors. Black heart. And leave. Alright, All right, this isn't explicitly horrible. Whoa. Okay, there we go. And we get coins and a bomb. Yay, us. This is a sacrifice room. We're not going to sacrifice ourselves, especially since it would use up black hearts. Uh, as I might have explained or might not have explained, you walk over the spikes, there's a chance that it will spawn a red chest. Red sp chests can be nice, but I think generally speaking, um, they're not. Uh, losing a whole bunch of health for the possibility of getting a red chest is just not great. I mean, I, if, if you go down to Wheel of Fortune, maybe later. Uh, that will spawn a slot machine, which is something that we don't really need right now, so we're going to ignore it. That spider is so scared. Ah, the fear, it's real. You should be scared because now all your friends are dead. Yay, a soul heart. Yay. So we're sitting pretty good at our health. At the mo, go away. All of you. Be scared or something. Have some fear. Thank you. I'm so glad that you know how to listen. Every once in a while, you can do things in a way that makes me smile. Go away. Ugh. Low damage, low tears, low range. It's all bad with Lazarus. His luck is just the worst. And as such, it makes the runs the worst. I mean, we do get an extra life, but you gotta draw the line somewhere. Let's do this arena, because why not? What's this? What's this? What's that? Troll bomb. Actually, that was kind of helpful. We get a pill. Uh, I'm not going to use the pill in the middle of a fight. Or will I? That trip. <laughs> so hard. Yay! Okay. Do you mind? Thank you. Oh boy, zombies. Ow! How'd you hit me? Actually, having sphere shot in the zombies is not the greatest thing in the world. It's now they're going to run at me in weird angles. Oh, this is going to be impossible. How am I going to do this with such low damage? Oh, just make all of them scared of me. That's a way. Actually, the sphere shot's working pretty good. I thought it was going to make them run at me in weird angles, but actually it turns out that it's the best thing that I could have had happen. Okay, don't, don't shoot at me. Oh boy, another hangman. What is up with my luck? I actually want to look up the luck stat. Like, what 
What specifically does the luck stat do? Because I understand the idea of luck. Bombs are key. I'm not sure I have that. A penny. Um, but I wonder, like, if they have, like, a specific, like, it affects this. An item room. A treasure room. I've got that right someday. Ooh. Two spades. Double bombs? In a minute. We get faith and soul hearts. Ah. Our defense is so good. But I don't want defense. I want stuff. Oh, it's double keys. Ah, uh, man. Should have saved it. Alas, it was not so. Let's come in here. I'm assuming the secret room is right above us. So we'll open it in a mo. Ah, so scared. Oh, so scary. It's the scariest. Okay. Ah. The damage. It's so bad. Ah. Ah. Okay, good. I'm assuming this is it. Please be it. Yay, us. We get a key and a key bum, but he gets nothing. Nothing, I say. Oh, don't. Oh, no. I didn't take any damage from that. Thank you, Mask of Infamy. Alright, let's... Uh, Mask of Infamy is actually really good against the skeletons. I would have taken so much damage already. Ouch. Doesn't work all the time, though. We have enough coins now that opening the item room here would be advantageous. Let's do it. Hmm. Nah. None of these items particularly interest me. So let's just stuff coins in the donation machine until we can't stuff coins in there anymore. Yay, the blue map! I want the blue map to show up. Uh, it's an item that, when you have it, it shows where the secret and super secret room is on the map. Yay, store upgrade. Uh, let's stop there. Because I don't want to use up all of my coins. There's, there's a fine line between... Well, at the beginning, I feel like it's more advantageous to just stuff the machine full of coins. Um, and then call it a day. But... Later, when you actually have more items available to you with the store upgraded and number of items, um, there is you kind of have to find a balance between, you know, how much money do I want to spend upgrading versus how much money do I want to spend not upgrading. Uh, let's go for that gold chest while we're at it. We got the scissors. They're at full charge, so why not? We have also got the hangman. Snip. Open. Ooh, goat head. Sweet! So now we will always get a devil room. Or an angel room. If we skip the devil room. Uh, angel rooms have not shown up here just yet. Mega fatty! We can deal with mega fatty. I have not actually seen mega fatty in quite a while. In other places. Um, he's not too bad. What was, what was I saying? So an angel room, you get it by skipping the devil room. That's basically how it works. If you have a devil room available to you... Oh. Oh, we got the goat's head. Never mind. Um, if you have the devil room available to you, but you don't pick anything from... Ouch. Pick anything from it. Um, then... That's it. Like you, Then there's a very high chance that a devil or an angel room will spawn in the place of a devil room. Ow! Mega Fatty, you're so annoying. I don't think Mega Fatty shows up in the boss rush, thinking about it. I wonder if it's because he's replaced with another boss. Because it seems like some bosses do get replaced with other bosses down the road. Um, you see some bosses showing up more frequently, some bosses showing up less frequently as the game goes on. I wonder if that might just be random luck, or if there's like actually, you know, Earlier in the game, you get bosses like Mega Fatty, and later you get bosses like Peep. Which is just annoying. Placenta. We get regen and more hearts. We're also going to go in the Devil Deal room, because theoretically there's going to be something in there that gives us damage. The damage is so low. The damages, they do not exist. Okay, give me something I can use. The Bible. Why would you give me the Bible? Well, I guess we're getting an angel room now. <laughs> That's fine. 
I guess that's just how we will do things. Coming up on the forest floor here, we're now entering the caves. Well, actually, we've been in the caves, so I guess we're not really entering it. There's no advantage to having those. No. <laughs> no money for you. I've only got two coins, and chances are good, especially with my luck so bad, that you'll just give me nothing. You'll just take the coins and be like, gee, thanks, mister. And be like, where's my money? Or my items. And be like, what items are you talking about? I am just a poor orphan boy wanting coins so that I can live. And I'll be like, no, I know your game. You've got items that I could use. Hey, man. Boop. Puberty. Might be something good. Explosive diarrhea. That's not good. In fact, one could describe that as bad. Ugh. Lazarus, Lazarus, Lazarus. Now I kind of wish I didn't use the hangman. Eh, I'll come back when my scissors are full. Don't blow me up. But if you want to blow up the secret room, that's fine. If the secret room's in here. Sometimes when fighting these items, they'll open up the secret room for you. I'm just like, oh, well, thank you. Okay. There's mini dingles. Let's beat them up. We're going to not blow up the poop in the center, because if we deal with these guys one-on-one, -on -one, they're marginally less annoying. I say marginally because enemies that charge at you at full speed are annoying. There we go. And kill the mini poops. Poop. Okay. Fight them zombies. They're going to run away, and that's fine. They can do that if they wish. I'm not going to judge if they run away in fear of my tears. To be frankly, if someone kid was shooting tears at me, I would be pretty scared already. I wouldn't need an item boost. Or they wouldn't need an item boost for me to run away in terror, because they'd be like, Ah, man, why why are you shooting tears at me? And why is your mask not working? Why is the mask not blocking damage? That's so sad. Uh, I don't like these leeches. There's a handful of enemies that I do not particularly care for. Skeletons being one. The leeches being another. The le <coughs> The leeches shouldn't be a problem in theory, but they just always seem to be. Let's actually wait, because we only have two keys. Yay. Give me something good. This is a wig. Mom's wig. I feel itchy. Um let's look that up. Okay. So mom's wig, as I shoot tears, there's a chance that a spider will spawn. Hey, a spider will spawn. Ugh. Um, but with my luck really low, they're not going to spawn super duper often. Um, if my luck gets better, maybe. We will see. Uh, currently at this rate, my luck has not been improving at all. Um, so, you know. Okay, that's, that's an example of something I don't like. This is a whip or ringworm. And they shoot tears like that. And... It's it's an interesting idea for a trinket, but nine times out of ten it just makes me miss more. It's really awful. Having the this well, well the butter bean. I guess we've broken off poop. Break fifty poops and you get a butter bean. Seems logical to me. Uh, we could go in this. Actually, I think it at this point in time. Well, hmm, hmm. Let's blow this up. What? Oh, maybe here? Yes. No. Where else? Up here? You're using my bombs doing this. Thank you. Give me more bombs now. <laughs> Yay. We are now net positive. And we have gained the knowledge of where the room is. Um, so this is the last room for us to explore. There wasn't much purpose in us exploring this. In fact, it actually might be bad for us. Yep. Well, we got a key. I guess we can open the um the thing the thingy. Do I want to? Yeah, why not? Take damage. Ooh, yay, guppy's tail. Gimme. Cool. So now we have a a guppy item and b more chance for chest to spawn. Although. Maybe not. Ouch. Maybe not the best thing in the world. Simply on the basis that... Snip. 
That's all you're giving me? That's it? I am not pleased with your contributions. Um, Guppy's Tail will allow for more gold chests to spawn in place of the normal pickups, which is good and bad. Um, we'll see what the overall niceness of it is later. Whoops, I dodged in a weird way. Oh, thank you, fly. Okay, now we can focus on Gertie like we normally do. Our speed isn't super great, but we can still dodge him just fine. Yeah, this is Gertie. This is the Gertie fight. Ow! I still... Mm, glad I have the goat's head. So otherwise, I would be quite upset the way things have been going. I see Gertie with a status effect and I keep thinking that he's poisoned or something. I'm like, oh, hey, at least he's still taking damage. No. He's just scared of me and wishes to run away except for the fact that he's locked in place and can't do that because he doesn't move. Okay. Getting a little bit of spiders, so that's a thing. This is still taking forever, which is also a thing, but you know. You take what like life gives you. Alright, let's kill Gertie, and then let's kill all his minions, and then we can go about the rest of our day. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Stop giving me the Bible! I don't want the Bible! Stop giving me the Bible! Ah! Uh. Also, don't give me Guppy's paw either. I don't... It would put us close to Guppy form. Fine. I'll take Guppy's paw. I'm not going to use it, though. No, I'm not going to use it. Guppy's Paw, you use it, and it takes one of your red hearts and makes it into three soul hearts, which is a thing. Let's do the arena. Why would you not give me Guppy items? Why would you hurt me? <laughs> Why would you hurt me? Such a deep question. All right, let's kill these annoying screamy babies. Not to be confused with the Beanie Babies, of course. No, Screamy Babies. We have not gotten a single damage item this entire game. And quite frankly, it makes me cross. Oh, I think he died on my fly, which is cool. Oh, no, 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 I think the spider actually did it. Some of the flies, I think, will cause damage. The, the blue, there's some blue flies that will fly around you, and that'll be nice, but... Ow! No! Okay. Oh my god. I'm losing so much health in here. Let's try pulling this, I guess. Well, that worked for us. Um. Uh! <laughs> They're making fun of me! I'm gonna take damage. I'm gonna take damage. Give me this bomb. Stop giving me the Bible. No more Bibles. I don't even have like Bible tract. I'm just ugh, just getting lots of Bibles for like no reason. You would. After the performance in the last episode. Last episode. Performance in the last room. Of course you'd give me like a ton of these guys now. You're like wow. We noticed, Jack, that you had a great time fighting four of them. Would you like to fight a room of them? Like, no. Like, oh, uh, well, <laughs> bad news for you. Here's a room of them. I'm like, ah, great, Isaac. I'm glad. At least the fear still infects them if I shoot them head on. So it actually is kind of nice that I can do that. Let me scratch my nose. Itchy nose syndrome. All right, you're scared even though you're already purple. You know, let's not discriminate. Ah, placenta regen does a little bit of health. That's nice. Isn't that nice? Well, this is going to take a year and a half to do. Could you stand in a place that's more advantageous for your death? I mean, truly, you would want to invest in your own death as well. 
If you had a choice in the matter, would you not also want to contribute towards your own demise? Don't jump on me. Do not jump on me. I don't like it when you jump. Your jumps make me frown. See, here's here's the guppy's tail being annoying. Ooh! This is the best thing that could possibly happen. Yes! This trinket makes it so that I don't need a key to unlock gold chests. Ah, uh, this is good. Good things are happening. Is this lined up with the door? No, it's not. There is no way that it's in here. We. Well, there's the spikes there too, so it probably wouldn't be anyway. Uh, let's go up. Okay, now I want gold chests to spawn. Gold chest spawning would be the best. Let's break this. Let's go in here. Let's get a damage item. I wish. Ooh. Give me a soul heart. That's fine too. Money, 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 money. Did I properly explain the lock picking or the paper clip? Just in case I didn't, I've got like short term memory when it comes to let's play. Um, yes, I can unlock gold chests without using up a key. And since Guppy's tail makes it so that a lot of gold chests spawn, truly, it is the best thing that could ever happen to us. Things are coming up roses. Oh no, it's the lemon. It's not an active item that, you know, is nice because it makes a giant puddle of damage. I can't get in here. I used up my key. I wonder if I can do this. Boop. Yay, us. Well, we've got tons of coins. Did we jam the machine yet? No, we didn't. I would like to. Okay, don't give me... Lazarus, your luck is so bad. Just so awful. Constantly. You would, greed. You would make a return appearance. You're like, hey, Jack, I remember you featured me in the first episode when you wanted to get into a shop. Well, here I am again. Like, no, Greed, go away. I don't actually care for you. You didn't even have the decency of spawning a room full of coins. You're just going to drop a couple coins. Well, the good news is, actually, if we keep some coins, there is a character we unlock by having 55 coins. So, maybe things aren't as bad as it seems. Oh boy, Steam Sale. Items are 50% off in the store if we can find one. It's almost as if we were in the last episode once again. Except now we have a ginger kid. Bombing this is actually advantageous because we get more bombs by doing it. Yay. Net positive. That item is Bible Tract. It raises our faith and has a slightly higher chance of the Bible spawning. Or was that a myth? I don't remember. Don't shoot. I am unarmed. I am not but a child. Hey, we did it. It's a good thing I didn't have any keys there, otherwise I would have been very upset about running into that. Okay, more you- don't jump! No jumping. Not allowed. Inacceptable. It's so unacceptable, it's inacceptable. Yay. Hmm, no. You can sometimes bomb the skulls- Theoretically, we could get something out of that. Um, like trinkets and soul hearts, but hey, the trinket that we have is actually the best trinket that I think we could possibly get at the moment simply because we have Guppy's tail. Oh, I took that damage head on. Okay, um, and we can also get soul hearts out of it theoretically, but our luck is so bad right now that I don't think it's going to happen. We've got a key, so that's nice. Oh, more of these floaty dudes. Okay, floaty dudes. <laughs> let's let's not run into me, please. Let's do things other than that. Yeah, be scared. Be fearful of the future. Be fearful of the um fugality of life. Fut fut out fugal fru It's not frugality. I mean, it could be the frugality of life. Maybe you live a very frugal lifestyle. You're scared. Face away from me. Ow. 
Ugh. Gah, gah, gah. No more troll bombs, please. I mean, I don't really care, but... Well, I care a little. Let's find the boss, which is probably... And by probably, I mean 100% this way. It hurts. There's more hearts in there. Let's uh, keep going a little bit more, just in case we lose a bit more damage. All right, let's... You're going to actually spawn things. So I don't want that. It's weird that you would... Like, these enemies already are fearful of you. The big crying fly sacks. Um, but it was weird because it almost seemed like he was walking towards me. I eh, can't fly. Ah, don't jump. No jumping. No, 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 no. I want to take you out first. Everyone else is annoying and very dangerous, but the jumper is just not... If you jump in this game, I just don't like you. That's just a general swooping statement of truth. Boop. So there's the boss. Oh boy, this again. Ow. Um, no, no. Uh... Nope. Mm, nah. Nah, I changed my mind. We're not going to do that. <laughs> no more of that. No more Bibles either. No more Bibles. You're done with the Bibles. Okay, let's hope that this boss isn't horrible. Because this has... Why is it double peep? Why would you do this to me? Lazarus, why is your luck so bad? We're going to very surely die here. So we have to fight peep twice. Surely you could not have done something more logical with your life. In the grand scheme of things, this is actually going not horrible. Thankfully, the two peeps haven't ganged up on us yet, but this is still taking a year and a half to do. Also, thankfully, they're kind of staying to their own sides of the room, says Jack, as they switch sides to the room. Don't hurt me. Stop hurting me. Let's focus you. Uh, if I kill you, a smile might creep upon my face. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't, 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 no, 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 Stop peeing all over the floor. It's very inconsiderate of you. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. I'm alive. All right. Well, we used up our life. The damage is so bad this run. You know, I, I actually don't, you know, in the great scheme of things, the outcome of this run is not all that bad. You know why? Because after this run, I don't have to use Lazarus anymore. I said we would try Lazarus for the next run. So if we die a horrible, painful, humiliating death, uh, that's fine. That just means next episode I will play as Isaac or someone better. We currently only have Isaac. Actually, if we get a double deal room, we might get a Zazeal. If we can survive the rest of this boss fight. Stop, please. You're dead. Stop giving me the Bible! Oh! <laughs> I don't want the Bible. You didn't even have the decency of giving me soul hearts. Why do they, I? I know. I I know why it is because we have the rosary beads. Is why they're trying to give us the Bible constantly. But I don't want the Bible. I don't want it. There's no reason for me to have the Bible. I don't think we're gonna get 55 coins this run. So let's do this. Theoretically, we can get some stuff. Or it'll blow up and we'll get something cool. Our luck's really bad, so I'm not going to try the, uh... Um... I don't know what you'd call that. The, the shell game. I'm not going to try it. Um... Interesting thing about the shell game, it actually has does not matter which shell you pick. It is entirely dependent on your luck stat. Thank you. That is what we need. Give me that. We need that. 
Hmm. I'm thinking, using my thinking brain of possibilities. There's another... I don't want a health down. That's not something I want. You are jerks. Everyone is jerks. All of, all of, all of you guys with your dumb faces, with like your uh, backwards faces, just stop. Get a life. Get a life. Go away. I don't want to be friends with you. Thank you. You finally listened to my instructions after a year and a half of me telling you to not bug me. Okay, just just die. That gives us poison shot, but we don't really need poison shot right now. I mean, it would give us some damage, theoretically. But the poison shot is not super common. What? Boss? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Can you give me an item after this? Maybe a guppy item? That would be nice. Give me a guppy item. I would appreciate. Maybe a dead cat. Give me a dead cat. Ah. Dead cat would actually be very helpful right now. Okay, we killed one. Am I anemic? Maybe? No. Yeah, I think I leave a blood trail behind because I died as Lazarus. But that is to be determined. Hmm. Well, we're nearly done with this boss, so that's the nice thing, at least. You're gonna throw stuff, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, don't throw things. Ow! Don't throw things. Are you dead yet? Can you be? It takes like one more hit to kill this guy. It literally was one more hit. Okay, B. Let's go to the area. Don't jump, don't jump, don't, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. This could be it. This could be it. He's swinging for the fences now. That doesn't make sense in this context. Can I do that? Yes, I can. <sighs> Crick his head. We finally have damage. Finally, for once in our life, we can do a reasonable amount of damage. We can now kill things in a way that actually makes sense to everyone. Alright, chub. You're gonna die. That's what's gonna happen right now. You're gonna get blown up. And I'm gonna kill ya. And I'm gonna kill ya some more because you're so scared of me. You're so scared because I'm gonna kill ya. That's... Uh, I'm not scared. No, I'm the one doing the scaring here. And you're gonna die. Because I am the scary one. Give me a good item. Mom's perfume. I already have a fear shot. Mm. Although it did increase my range too. So, Didn't we just kill you, Chubb? Don't you learn? We're doing more damage now, it looks like. Or maybe this is just like some sort of weird trick of light. Die. You die too. Give me good things. I don't need that. This is nice though. Let's go in the shop and fight greed. Nah. Nah. I want the soul heart. The broken watch is nice. There is a chance that it will slow down enemies. There's a chance that it will speed up enemies. Um, one is good, one is bad. I got the bombs. No, 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 no. Ow. That was stupid. I literally I did not expect that to happen. I didn't didn't really think that one through. Okay, don't jump on me. Just be scared instead, maybe. Being fearful is a nice thing that you can do. Another explosive diarrhea. From where we're sitting right now, I can't see us really gaining anything now. The only thing that we can really get is if we 
explore for secret and super secret, but even then, uh, there's no guarantee that A, we'll find it, or B, that it will contain anything that we care about. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Be a black card. Consume thy enemy. Mm. Well, I mean, we're going up against mom here, so I mean, it's better than having the thing that we're not going to use. Yes. Let's explosive diarrhea. I'm hurting myself. Alright, let's get some damage on mom here. We cleared out the arena, which is actually basically what I wanted to do. Alright, we also have to listen for some audio clues a little bit. Because mom will always like grunt before she throws her foot down. Also, in case you're curious, it's more advantageous to attack her eye if you can see it. Okay. Right, watching our health. There we go. We converted the last of our health. Um, yeah, there's mom grunting. Yes, yes, yes. Can you die, please, actually? I'm doing well. Don't grab. Grabby lady. You know what? Just die. Isaac was cornered. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. Yay, we did it. Now we've unlocked the womb, a challenge, the purest. We've unlocked the Harbingers. A cube of meat and a ball of bandages are in the basement. We did it, we beat up mom. But we still got more to do. We got actually plenty more to do. Uh, but that'll be it for this episode. I'm glad we were able to get through a Lazarus run because it's awful. It's the worst. You don't even know. Next time we'll play as Isaac. Because that's the only other character we have right now. But much better. He's just so much better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did enjoy this episode, please consider leaving me a like because it does help me out a ton. And, as always, stay tuned for more.